Since I still can't get any decent building materials or vehicle parts, I figured I'd share my Vega 56 and Vega 64 settings that I'm using for mining Ethereum. Uh, for these cards, I think you can easily expect to get between 46 and 52 mega hash at 140 to 160 watts. A bit of a variance between my cards that I've noticed, but that's okay. So on the top in this computer, you can see there's a Vega 56, which is a gigabyte model, and underneath that is a reference blower style Radeon card, and that is a Sapphire Vega 64. I also have a Asus Vega 64 as well. So the key to getting the higher hash rates and lower power is using the AMD memory tweak tool. And you can see I've got nice hash running just because it's easy. And it's, I think it says about $9. It bounced between eight and $9 US a day for the two Vega cards. So that's about $5 a day per card, which is pretty good. Uh, after electricity here in Canada, I'm looking at a profit of about $5 per day per card. And you can see it's registering the two graphics cards. So definitely you need the AMD memory tweak. Just download it and then change your settings. So you have something like MSI Afterburner, which you can see in the bottom left. Don't open that. Once you've hit that check mark, just leave Afterburner alone and don't open the AMD tools either. Just use this and, and that's it. So you see the Vega 56, it's getting about 42 or 43 mega hash. That's because I'm actually recording this on the computer, so it, it bounced between 46 and 47, but when I started recording it dropped a little bit. And then the one on the right is the Vega 64 reference, and you can see that that one's sitting at 50 mega hash, very stable. The Vega 64 ASUS, which is the uh, Strix model, also gets right around 50 mega hash. It bounces around a little bit more, it might be at 49, might be at 51, but on average I would say it sits at about 50. So I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm just going to show you my settings for each of the cards. All of this can also be found on my website if you just want to see the images. So here's the Vega 56 settings. Basically I've changed uh, the numbers for timings 1, 2, 3, and 4, timings 12, and the RFC timing, but you can see what they've been all changed to. Now over on the core control, I've turned off all of the P states from zero to six, and I've just left seven on, and I've changed it to 1000 megahertz, and I've dropped the millivolts down to 850. Under memory control, I've turned off uh, P0 to P2 states. All you gotta do is click on the number, and then for the P3 state, I've changed it, uh, increased it to 960 megahertz and 850 millivolts. And then I've adjusted the temperature fan controls a little bit, the one thing I would say is you don't want to adjust these numbers while the miner is working. You want to change the settings, then click the checkbox, and then start the miner. If it's mining and you start messing with the timings, it will freeze up on you. Now one thing to note when you're, you know, you turn off your computer, start it back up, this will disappear, so you have to open up the program again before you start mining, so that all of these values still stay in effect. Now for the Vega 64 reference card, the numbers are a little bit different. Again, I've changed timings one to four, and those are the values I'm using. I've changed timing 12, which is actually the same, and same with the RFC timing. The big difference is the P7 state, which is now at uh, 1100 and 900 millivolts, and the P3 memory control state, which is at 1100 megahertz, because this is a, a Vega 64 card and it could handle a little bit more. For the Vega 64 Strix model, I find that it crashes a little bit uh, if you push the memory too high, so that's why it's sitting at about 1,050. If I push it to uh, 1,075, it will get a better hash rate, but uh, 1,050 is a lot more stable. Now all those tables can be found on my website. Uh, just click the link in the description, it'll take you right to it. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out there who's mining on uh, Vega 56 and Vega 64 cards. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.